Welcome friends, this is graph r is equal to 2 sine theta right here. So multiply both sides by r is going to give you r squared is equal to 2r sine theta. And then we write this as x squared plus y squared is equal to, now this here is equal to y, so it's 2y. And then just shift it over, so x squared plus y squared mi minus 2y is equal to 0. Complete the square on these two parts, so it's x squared plus then y, take one half of negative 2, which is negative 1, square this. Whatever this is, you always subtract it squared, so minus a negative 1 squared is equal to 0, complete the square. So x squared plus y minus 1 squared plus, well, let's see, it's going to be minus a 1 is equal to 0, right, because it's negative 1 squared is 1. But this is from here, this negative. All right, then it's going to be really like x minus 0 squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to positive 1. So it means we have a circle right, because this is 1 and this is 1. These coefficients where they're the same, that means you have a circle. So you can have a circle with the radius. Well, the radius is right here. Right? You can write this 1 squared as uh, just that. So you can say the radius is 1, is just this part. And then the other part is 0, comma 1. So you take the 0 from here, you take the 1 from here without the signs. So make a graph quickly. So the center point is 0, 1. So x is 0, y is 1. So that's here. Now, because the radius is 1, when you mark off, look, you just count by 1. 1 this way, 1 this way, 1 this way, and then 1 out this way. And then just complete. So, like this, like this, and like this. You see? The point is that it's a, it's a circle right here. Okay? And the radius is 1 unit. And this center point is right here. That's equal to 0, 1. Leave a like if it's helpful.